this is the whole area that has to be replaced, but luckily we got parts. There's the back side. I don't think that's factory. That's definitely not factory. Duct tape, and I don't know what. I'm sure our uh, water drain clogged up. I noticed on the other side that it had rusted up here. You can only imagine how much material. I never, was never able to get out. It causes all this. But I've got those too. So water comes down through these air vents. And to keep it from coming into the cabin, it all drains down to here. It's supposed to. But when other stuff gets blown in there, the same air vents, the water's got no place to go and puddles up and starts doing this damage. And then when the windshield seal's no good, water comes in and sits on the floor in the cabin. And then you get all this. It all looks really good under here. There's not any rust. Really good.
Right, here's what we ended up with. So I have to replace this piece here. So I'm cutting all the way around this. I'm not sure how much of this original bracing I'll take out. I may just cut out the part that sticks out and leave this. But something I wasn't prepared for was this piece. Um, it doesn't seem to be part of the parts that I have. So I may have to either use part of this or fab up something new. It's kind of cone shaped. It sits underneath the floor as part of the brace. The same on this side. This is a, this one's pretty bad too. There'll be little patches here and there, that's for sure. And once these are done, then I can do the floor on top. One of the worries I had about putting this thing on its back was if I was going to knock it out of square. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Yep. I think the doors being on will also help me keep it square when I do any repairs on the floor. I'm not sure if I took them off, if that would be a difference or not, but I figure it doesn't hurt to have them on. So these replacement parts I bought, made in the USA, of course. I noticed that um, the metal thickness isn't quite what was there. Actually, not quite as, nearly as much as what was there. They also are mounted at an angle, so you have to kind of bend and trim a little bit here. But this has so much more meat to it. I think what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna lay some plate across here and here. After I put some sheet metal in and fit the floor piece, I'm gonna put some plate across here, have it come down here, and then I'll tab this up to it. And I think that'll give it probably a lot more strength and even more than what it originally had. So before I started to weld this piece in, I was pushing on the floor and I realized just how much it had dropped. It was so warped, it was dipping downward, almost three quarters of an inch. So I put this uh, temporary brace back here of aluminum square to give me something to weld to, or rather to hold the piece nice and flat so I can weld it. And after I get the bottom tacked in, I can pull this out a little bit so that it's nice and flush.
All right, the cab is back on the frame. We made some small two inch lift blocks. Um, I gotta get longer bolts and make some uh, spacers. But that came out okay. The bed has a one and a quarter inch lift, so you can actually see there's a three quarter inch difference here. I'm not so sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Today I'm gonna be doing some work on the floor on this side. I was able to get a lot of the work done on the underside for the driver's side. But from here, um, because of where the, the metal was on this brace, I didn't want to cut this out to get to the floor, so I left it in place. So the work will be done from the inside. And this is what we'll be taking out, is this mess right here. So I'm gonna pull this bolt, pull out the rubber spacer, kind of lift it up a little bit there so nothing gets hot. Start cutting and welding. Yeah, I know. It's not a real anvil. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. I'm using a fan on this because this is galvanized, and uh, when you get anything that's galvanized on, especially with welding, um, it off gases and it that uh, can make you sick. So even with just the sander, and uh, earlier when I was heating it up, and especially when I'm welding it, I'm gonna be using uh, some kind of fan to blow those fumes away. Cause that's tough, it'll mess, it'll mess with your head. It's not good for me. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. 